Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Saturday, February the 18th. This morning, we're going to talk about the mercy of God. Did you know that no one has the right to mercy? No one. We un when we understand this, uh, and its implications, we gain a deeper appreciation of God's goodness to us. The word mercy appears infrequently in the Old Testament, but there is the implicit assumption that the one who helps is moved by his feelings, and the one who has helped has no right to expect aid, even though different Hebrew words may be found where English versions, versions read mercy, the concept shines through. Mercy is condescending love, reaching out to meet a need without considering the merit of the person who receives the aid. Right. Um, so, God's God is plenteous mercy in mercy. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Psalms 103.8 God's mercy is manifested toward whom he will. He is absolutely sovereign in the exercise of his mercy. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Therefore hath, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy. Romans 9.18 And it should be remembered that while God is absolutely sovereign in the, in the exercise of his mercy, while no one can dictate upon whom he shall have mercy, the point of fact is that he wills to have mercy on all upon who he can have mercy. Um, the mercy of God is manifested toward everyone who confesses and forsakes his sins. And the mercy of God is also manifested toward all them that can call upon him. And the mercy of God is manifested toward his afflicted people. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will he have mercy upon his afflicted. Isaiah 49.13 And the mercy of God is also manifested in his delivering from sickness, sorrow, and oppression. And last, but certainly not least, the mercy of God is manifested in his acting as a defense and refuge in the day of trouble. Amen. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Psalm 59, 16. So I know the lesson was short this morning, but I hope it's been helpful to you. Um, we are thankful for a very merciful God, because without mercy, we would all be in some deep trouble. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this time that we have, just to share a portion of your precious word this morning. Father, we thank you for each one watching, Lord. We just want to lift up each one to you, that they would be blessed in a special way, Lord, that... Uh, and that, Lord, that it should just reach someone who may not know you as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, may it touch them and that they may become, that they may come to know you before it's eternally too late. And Father, we love you because you loved us first, Lord. And we just, we just want to thank you for all the ultimate, the unlimited blessings that you give us that we don't deserve. And all these things, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk again soon.